Steak. Oh. Sorry. Hello. And welcome back to Feed the Beast Universe. Today we're going to get ourselves some storage going. So grab yourselves a nice, warm, hot cup of joe. And let's get right back into it. Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is your average cup of joe, and like I said, today we're gonna get into some storage solutions. You didn't think we'd stick with these boring old chests and drawers forever, did you? Nah. So today we're gonna get into Applied Energistics 2. Let's go. So first and for foremost, certainly quartz. Get some Certus Quartz. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Last time, we made ourselves a digital miner. Uh, in the meantime, I, I said it at first to mine Certus Quartz and uh, Diamonds. Yeah, well, then I said it to mine Coal, Gold, Iron, Osmium, and Redstone. And then since then, I've said it to do Tin and Copper. Uh, yeah, so this is that. I stopped Redstone and Coal and even Iron uh, very early it did not take long for that to fill up and then I'll show you over here I made in a separate chest just to put all of the uh, stuff that I got out of the first one yeah so I got 42 diamonds and a lot of Surtis quartz which is great so we can just grab all this up and throw it in here and uh, just like that we have plenty of Surtis quartz to get going for applied energistics first things first however I'm tired of carrying around this stupid chest plate. So we're gonna throw this thing away. We're gonna come over here and we are gonna make an armored jetpack. Oops, I can't spell. It's fine, it's right here. So we needed two, two bronze, two diamond, and a block of steel. We've got all of that. Here we have an armored jetpack. I no longer have to carry around that extra piece of armor because now I am armored. So. With that done, let's go ahead and now hop into Applied Energistics. So, Sardis Quartz is one of the most used materials in Applied Energistics 2. It comes in two types of normal and charged. Charged Sardis Quartz drops from its ore, but can also be made in the charger. We'll be making that today. Mechanism also adds a way to, add, to craft it, but that's on mechanism sides, not AE2. Uh, in case you're curious, uh, that is simply just putting it in an enrichment chamber, the search quartz ore, and that turns into four. Uh, if I'd have realized that, I would have put the miner on silk touch mode. Didn't realize it. It's fine. So, oops, we can go ahead and claim our Certus quartz. Uh, perfect. We got charged Certus and regular Certus. And we can go ahead and, ooh, lots of it. So we can go ahead and put those in the enrichment chamber and that'll go ahead and quadruple here. All right. Next, we need some Fluix. Uh, if you're not aware of what this reference is to, go check out Yogscast Duncan and Yogscast Kim for Flux Buddies. Fantastic series, lots of fun. Uh, Fluix crystals are another resource, but they don't generate naturally. Instead, throw some charged Certus, Quartz, nether quartz and redstone dust into water and wait a second so what we'll do is we'll grab out this regular certus throw in the charged and we'll come over here and i think to start here let's sort this real quick so we can see uh to start let's make about mm, let's say 20 of the fluix so for that we're going to need 20 redstone quickly grab that on out and then come back over here should have grabbed it while I was here and we'll grab oh that's only gonna leave us with nine regular quartz but that's fine not a big deal so then we'll come on up to our water here and we will throw all of these in together and after a minute you can see the, boom lots of fluix that doubles up to 40 fluix by the way so 20 turns in so each set of three turns into two crystals 
So, some pure crystals. The new, the final new material is pure crystals. To make pure crystals, throw a seed of that type in some water and just let it grow. It takes a very long time, but eventually it will turn into a pure crystal. It is highly recommended to use crystal growth accelerators as they drastically reduce the time required. There are pure variations of nether quartz, certus quartz, and flux crystals. Um, we can do that and we're actually going to need to for some of the things that we need to inscribe but we'll make an inscriber first because i think it's a little more important so we need one flux five iron and two sticky pistons so that's one two nope that's osmium one two three that was unexpected uh well luckily <laughs> we have a ton of iron now so we can just go ahead and take this iron ore and uh freely throw it on into the enrichment chamber grab that out enrichment chamber and that'll automatically start smelting and uh in the meantime we can go ahead and get everything else ready for the pistons so we're going to need eight cobble six wood uh, of course there's only two that's perfect uh and then we need two redstone no two redstone oh my lord uh, and then two slime balls So we can go ahead and get these all set up uh, And then there there's two pist one piston We'll just go ahead and grab some here uh, two pistons and Now they're both sticky mm, sticky uh, And then it was one two three four five I missed uh, one one and then a fluix crystal and we have our tr inscriber. This needs power So we'll go ahead and open ourselves up a little slot there uh, And grab a advanced universal cable put that down and put down our inscriber. All right So next what we need is To go adventuring uh, to help us with that we can go ahead and make a meteorite compass that's just four iron around a charged surge crystal so that's one two three four and a charged surge crystal there this will help us find some meteorites uh we'll go ahead and put away some of these extra things here for the moment ah morning anyway let's go so i happen to know for example as i did some basic exploration yesterday we have here one meteorite and up here two meteorites. I believe the compass is already pointing us towards this one. So let's go and follow that. There she blows. This is what we're looking for. These majestic meteorites. So we'll go ahead and dig ourselves down here. If we do a small tunnel and dig ourselves straight down perfect we should find an inscriber silicon press so we need four different presses we need an inscriber oops we need inscriber calculation engineering logic and silicone so unfortunately we're not done searching yet we're just about to the meteorite as you can see up there but uh, look what i found a ruined nether portal Let's go ahead and grab ourselves whatever we've got in here. Some obsidian, cool. Tinted golden sword, all right. Curse of Vanishing, not really worth it. Fortune two, we'll grab those. Uh, Sylph shards, I don't know what those are useful for. A fire charge and a potion of mana regeneration, cool. Anyway, we're almost there. Whew, this one's, uh, this one's a little bit bigger. With any luck, it'll have the remaining three we needed. It can, it can happen. I've had it happen before. Uh, so we'll find approximately the middle here. And there she blows. Oh, we got logic and calculation. That means we just need um, engineering. So we're getting there. Hoping here's some sky stone. You need that, so go ahead and take it. Uh, in the meantime, let's go ahead and find ourselves another meteorite. Meet me. <sighs> so, this is a good reference of how reading can help. We've added recipes for presses and sky stone to hopefully mitigate some of those issues. Meteorites will still spawn, but aren't necessary. Well, time to head back to the base. It's a good thing I'm not 
terribly far away. So we've made it back home now that I've uh, learned and uh, we're going to go ahead and make uh, which one are we missing? Calculation, logic, silicone. We're missing the engineering press. That just takes a compass and a diamond. Easy. Happy to get rid of this dang compass via a diamond. And just like that, engineering press completed. What's next? Well, it's time to make some pure crystals. Uh, so to help with that, uh, we're going to make a crystal growth accelerator or... Two. We're going to make two because it rewards you with two more. How incredibly generous of them. Uh, so to make it, we need a Fluix block, four iron, ME glass cable, and quartz glass. So uh, we'll go ahead and quickly mark some of these things like quartz glass and ME cable. And we'll go ahead and mark the crystal growth accelerator as well. Ah, excellent. Two Fluix blocks. All right, we're back with plenty of quartz. Didn't take very long. I just didn't grab much when I was there for some reason which makes three which is enough for right now uh, so we'll put two up there and then one two one two all right and there there we go there's our quartz glass all right excellent that should be enough to make our two crystal growth accelerators and for that we get two more uh, put down one two three and four and our water so real quick, first, we're going to go ahead and need that uh, energy acceptor that was optional. And that's pretty easy. It's just some of these things here. And uh, here is our energy acceptor. We've got some extra of these. And then we'll grab uh, a couple of these. All right. So what we'll do is we will throw down these last two. And then we'll throw this here. And this and this. And these should now be running. Yep, there they go. Crush them on up. And now we're done. And we can mix them together. There we have 24 seeds. Whereas this would normally take many hours. It takes so long. Uh, we can just throw those in there and they'll be done in a matter of minutes. So seeds do not despawn, so you don't have to worry about that. All right, where are we at here? Are they about done? They should be close. Where are we at? 75%. Boom, Fluix crystals, pure. All right, so from that we get Certus seeds or crystal seeds and it is random which ones we get. All right, it is now time to make an ME controller. So let's do it. The ME controller is the brain of every ME network. Matter energy is what ME stands for. You can only have one controller multi-block per network. This quest will go over its construction. The quest above will explain how it works. Uh, when making the multi-block, prioritize how many faces are available, meaning how many cables can be attached directly. The multi-block must be a 7x7x7 seven by seven by seven or smaller. Controllers can only have a single axis with two connections. That is, it can be shaped like an upside down T, but not a plus. The controller can convert FE to AE at a rate of 2 FE to 1 AE. All right. To make that, we need an engineering processor. To make an engineering processor, we need a printed engineering circuit and a printed silicone. Well, the printed engineering circuit takes our inscriber engineering press and presses down on a diamond into that. And the silicone press, I'm not sure how to make silicone in this version, so let's find out. You smelt some nether quartz. Lovely. Seems easy. Let's do it. Uh, so we'll go ahead in here with our silicone press and press the silicone and it, it'll work slowly. You can see it going up here. And then if you watch, boom, pressed. Uh, then we switch this out for our... Uh, I think engineering. Yes. Ooh, universal press. Interesting. Uh, no, but what is it actually? Yes. Okay. Engineering. Uh, go ahead and grab a diamond. So engineering press diamond. It'll start working. And then boom. All right. And then we grab this out, put it there, put in our silicone and grab ourselves a redstone which we've got good and put that in there it'll start working it'll start going and 
boom just like that an engineering processor cool so now we want an me controller uh, and for that we need some sky stone blocks and pure fluix and just like that we have an me controller you basic what did I get for being basic oh some me glass cables excellent and that gives us more fluix me glass cables we need some storage access to make an me terminal terminal the M oh I clicked off the me terminal is the first of many devices and allows you to access all items in the me network We'll get to storing items in a bit on the left. You have several buttons. Their tooltips should be fairly self-explanatory The top right has a button to show what the system is auto crafting as well as five slots for view cells We'll cover both of those later So we need an me terminal We'll go ahead and mark that we need an annihilation core a formation core uh, a logic processor and a dark illuminated panel for that dark illuminated panel we need a regular illuminated panel uh, which is oh, I don't think we actually need a dark one I think we just need uh, the regular uh, illuminated panel logic processor is gold redstone and silicone the annihilation core is fluix dust nether quartz and another logic processor and then fluix dust right Certus quartz and a logic processor. So we need a total of three logic processors. Ho bam, ho bam, ho bam. And then silicone. We'll need three of those. Ho bam, ho bam, ho bam, ho bam, ho bam. So we've got our the formation core, the annihilation core and our illuminated panel we need the glowstone for all right our illuminated panel gives us three and then our me terminal yep and there's one of those and into we can make a crafting terminal potentially that just takes a calculation processor uh, for that we do need pure certus quartz which i haven't gotten to making yet so we can do that later uh, let's go ahead and make ourselves the storage. So we need an ME drive, which is two engineering processors. I can get that going real quick. Wha bam! Wha bam! Wha bam! Wha bam! Wha bam! Wha bam! And we have an ME drive. All right. The next thing. So let's go ahead and start putting some of this stuff down here. So we can put our controller right here, we'll say. And we'll go ahead and put the, uh, oh, nope, that's not what I wanted. Uh, grab that back off. I believe I need to do this, it's a multi-block. So it is actually still on the inside of this uh, square here. Obviously there's no storage yet, so we'll put that there. And then we will grab power. All right, we got some power here. We'll go ahead and grab it. Hmm. Yeah, we can just grab it directly from here. That's fine. And that should begin to power. Uh, and just like that, we can go ahead and plug this up here. Great. And we'll grab some dirt to fill in around for the meantime. Oh, and one more because really we only need access to this and then we can make something to be able to let us access here without having to have it out uh, but now, now it has power you can't store anything yet because uh, well because there's no storage so let's fix that and to do that we go ahead and come on in here and we make a storage cell there's 1k 4k and 16k as well as 64k uh, I think we'll go ahead and make a 16k to start. I, I know that sounds like a lot to start, but uh, so we just make a 16k thing, which takes a calculation processor and then 4k components, 1k components. So we need three of these 1k components. We need 
I believe, two of these calculation processors? Yeah, two of those. Glowstone dust, um, and then redstone dust. Okay, so let me get going on all that stuff, and we'll be right back. All right, we're ready to make one 16K ME storage cell. Boom. We have storage, and we just slot this right in there. And just like that, we are now able to just dump, baby. Boom, storage acquired. And now we'll leave things in here for now. Uh, so for example, we'll grab these types of things back out uh, and store them in here for the moment. Eventually we can either link all these up into here or I'll just empty them all out into there. We'll see. But stuff like all of this, we can take straight out. Uh, by the way, I got all of these balloons from uh, the mechanism introduction quest, uh, if you're interested. Uh, introductions, uh, mechanism, red balloons. It gave me 99 red balloons. And they pop. Uh, so we just dump. Dump, dump, dump. Got that dumpy. There is our storage system sorted. Now, you may be wondering, well, okay, great. You've got this nice storage system, but there's no crafting. Well, let's head on back over to the applied energistics. We'll collect 54 1K ME storage components. Excellent. That'll make at least making more of those a little bit easier I won't have to go through as much trouble still trouble uh, not a big deal though uh, so next we want an ME crafting terminal and to make that we just need the terminal a calculation processor and a crafting table we have our calculation processor we'll just grab you and we need a quick crafting bench no issues there. There's that, that, and that. And we have an ME crafting terminal. Just like that, we are now able to use this to craft. And actually, I like the uh, tall sign. It didn't change at all, did it? Nope. Cool. Uh, it's great. You can uh, synchronize to JEI. So if I say look for... Um, uh, diamond chest piece. Diamond not only searches, also nice, uh, but it pops up here on the side, which is pretty helpful. Uh, yeah, and you can sort by item name or uh, toggle the sorting direction, all that good stuff. Uh, it's great. Number of items, mod. Yeah, it's pretty useful. We can go in here, see that. And we've done a lot today. There's a lot more to do still. Uh, I would like to perhaps next time get into uh, some of these wireless terminals just so I don't have to come in here all the time. Uh, it would be cool if uh, we could get some of these export and import buses so I can just like have a dump chest for stuff and it'll go straight into storage. Um, otherwise... We can get into channels pretty soon here, and actually we can learn about channels, uh, and then, yeah, then we can start getting to the point where we can make auto crafting, that'll be fun. I'll have to learn about that, I've never really done it before, because I've never bothered with uh, channels. Uh, so there's lots of cool stuff that we can get into, um, and uh, yeah, I think that'll be fun. Thank you for watching today. So if you've liked the video, be sure to give that like button a nice warm hug. Uh, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe to the video, to the channel even, and uh, leave a comment down below. I'd love to read it and uh, see what you have to say. Uh, that's it for me today. Uh, take care and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Peace.